So the other day I was just playing around trying to make a sort of like stinger transition here only using the edit page and then I made this one using uh, Fusion. Right now it's pre-rendered and really low resolution because for some reason I didn't want to render in full resolution. But anyways, okay, let's just get started with this video. We're gonna create this only using uh, the edit screen. Although in one step we will have to go into Fusion for just one second because for some reason it didn't want to work. Uh, the effect didn't want to work in here. Okay, so for the first step, what we want to do is uh, let's see. We have these, which is sort of like a little bit over two seconds uh, of footage here of our two pictures right here that we have. And the first thing that we want to do is we're going to create the background lines, and for that we're going to use the solid. And the solid itself doesn't have to be that long. It could be like, uh, let's go like around 30 something frames. A little bit over one second, I would say maybe. There. And try to position it in the middle. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change the color. Uh, and it doesn't have to be that same color that we did before. We're going to use uh, let's do a green one at this time. Uh, maybe it's a little bit too much. What about this yellow one? Okay, let's do this yellow one. And then on this yellow one, what we're gonna do is, um, I'm, I actually did it a, did a little bit different. I did three copies of this first and then I added, added the transitions. But I think we can avoid that by just adding the transitions right now. And that would save us a little bit of time. So what I did was I added this slide transition. And right now you will see that it's going this way or like I don't know what you, it's aligned to the right of it. So we're going to go in here in the alignment. We're going to press the middle and we're going to change the frames to 15 frames. And we can also change the direction. We can make slide left in. So it's going to come from the side. In this case, if should we do it the same way or actually let's make these go from top down. And it's a little bit too slow because it doesn't have any ease. So we're going to do ease in and out. So now it's going to look a little bit better. And if you want, you can add a little bit of motion blur to not too much. Uh, although for some reason, when I add the motion blur, it gets dark and it doesn't work that way. So we're just going to leave that out for now. We're not going to do motion blur on that right now. Okay. We're going to copy these by holding alt and take it to the other side. And then we're going to align it to the middle again. And then we're just going to make this go like that, which is going to follow that same path. And this in between time here that we have is where the words and all these little things are going to happen. Right. And we're going to copy these again. And right now we have these already. Um, what do you call this new copy that we have? And here we're going to change the color of it and we're going to make it a little orange one sort of. Yeah, and we're going to make these a little bit smaller, just like a couple, like three or four frames smaller. And we're going to also adjust the timing of these frames to 12 frames. So there's a little bit of time in between these, right? That we have, and then we're going to do it once again, and we're going to do the same process. We're going to go three frames. And again, this one coming out to eight. Okay. So now we have our, our, let me count how many like frames do we have in between these, like between the beginning and the end. So we can see that things are fine because I'm just by looking at it. I think I made these a little bit too small, so we might have to make it a little bit bigger. So let me count it. Yeah, it's a little bit too small. So what we're going to do is just going to bring it a little bit to the side. Um, Oops, let's just leave it in the middle. And instead of that, we're just going to drag all of them a little bit more to the side. So it's going to be like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Oops, I didn't want this one. So we're just going to take these top ones there. Okay. Now that we have these, what we can do is if we preview it, let me change the playback to have resolution. So it renders a little bit faster and okay. Right here we have these. Now the first thing that I added also in here are, these are little, 
the little lines that we have here i added these after actually so first thing i added was these x's so for that we're gonna go and add a title and it's gonna be this text plus and i'm gonna change these to be like that and we'll see here that it says custom title and we're gonna just change it to be an x we can make this bigger if you want and then you can choose the font that you like uh, i don't remember exactly which one i use for this one but okay that's fine now here uh, we can animate these x by animate by going to layout and rotation we're gonna change this so it's spinning on itself a little bit so we're just gonna create the first key from right here at zero and then we're gonna go a few frames like eight frames and we're gonna make it to be completely like could be 180 and then you will see why i'm not doing the position animation first because if i go here to the video transitions and i add a push transition i can add it to this one and i can also shorten shorten it a little bit and then make it be in the side so it's coming from that side right but we're gonna ease it in and out again and we're gonna push it up so it's gonna come from the bottom and then we have that basic one right there right if we add motion blur to this i think it should be fine it shouldn't affect it bad like it did with the other ones but then here what we can do is we can go to video and if we make these smaller we don't have the edges um option so we're gonna go here to open effects and then we're gonna search for transform we're gonna add these to our text node and the reason why i use this text plus node uh type of text is that in the other type of text, we are not able to add these transitions or effects for some reason. So we're gonna go here to effects and we're gonna change the edge behavior to replicate. So now if we zoom this uh, out like that, whoops. There it goes. So now if we zoom these um, out, we'll see that all of them uh, showing up at the same time. And you can use the wrap around or reflect. If you reflect it, it's gonna come like that from the same side. And I think there was one that, okay, so you can use reflect or wrap around, whichever you like. They are both pretty much the same, but that is what we have for that. Now, I also added a little shake to them. So I went to the open effects when again, and I searched for camera shake. And I added that to that text plus. And then here uh, I changed and I played a little bit of like with the different settings that we have here. I didn't want it to move too much. So I decreased these things and let's preview it. It's not moving much. like that just like that a little bit okay so that's pretty much it for that now the next thing that we want to do is we're gonna add uh, the next shape that we have which is gonna be those circles that we that you saw that sort of like bubbles popping up and for that is we're gonna add these tags again and this one is gonna be a little bit smaller because it doesn't have to be that big and then we're gonna copy these a few times we're gonna just write O or you can also do zero if you want, whichever you like the best. And then you wanna find a font that makes the O look a little bit more circular. So maybe next art could look pretty good. We can make these bigger and we're gonna go to the shading section and we're gonna animate the, we're gonna go here to the appearance and we're gonna animate the thickness of it. So the way to do this is we're going to make this be at normal at first and then we're going to go a couple of frames or maybe all the way out until like almost the end and we're going to make this disappear but then we're going to go back here and we're going to go to layout and we're going to animate this size. So we're going to go from 0 to 1 and then 
that's gonna sell the effect of sort of like the little bubble popping up and if you don't like uh if it, you don't think that it's thick enough uh you can go back here uh sorry at the beginning here and we're gonna make it a little bit thicker so it starts a little bit bigger like that so then when you have that if you want you can change the color of it let me take the pre-render out because it's bothering me a little bit and you can just position it wherever you want it. to make it easier you can just go here to whoops to fusion overlay and that way you can just like position whatever whatever you want it and you can just make a few copies of these and each copy you're gonna make it to be whatever you want to be you can also adjust the size here but you're gonna make sure that these two are in the same one so they grow at the same time at the same rate okay okay so we have these so in order to make it easier to work what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just like make this fade out a little bit also and then i'm gonna pre-comp these and then i'm just gonna put shapes and then we can create our text layer which is gonna be the main text i guess because that's the sort of like the way i followed it that's how i did it i created these text first and then i added those last lines that you see coming across um, but first we're gonna just write suave again here and the font that i used for these was actually called um messages it's i think a font that you can download and find on a thousand one fonts dot com or dot org can't remember which one it was but you can find it there and it's free and then we're just kind of leave it at black i think black looks good there now we have that fine so we're gonna bring this up actually because and i'm gonna actually follow the same process to keep it organized so we're gonna pre-comp these also i'm gonna press ctrl alt q so this shows up you can also right click and press new compound clip and this is gonna be background and you will see here already that there's this black thing that shows up and we don't want that in in theory if you change this to screen it would disappear but that affects also the colors and also what i tried first was i went and added a luma here to take the black out but for some reason it was not working so what i had to do for this was going to fusion a little bit you could also obtain the same effect in the color tab probably but it's a little bit easier in fusion so we're just gonna go into fusion real quick right here i know i said there was not gonna be fusion involved but it's literally just one little step so it's not complicated at all here in the media end we're gonna go and press luma here oh and also to get this tab out Control m is what i use sometimes shift m i think also works yeah shift Control spacebar i'm sorry Control spacebar is what I use to open these, um, not control M, but yeah. Okay, so then now in the Luma here, you'll see that here it does affect the colors too, but what we wanna do is we're gonna bring these so that we can see the background and we're gonna decrease the height all the way to like 0 0.02 and it will be fine and we'll just separate the background from the foreground. And that is what we have. Oh, and one thing I forgot was to change the last color of our layer here. So for the last color, it's going to be this reddish, maybe. And the same thing happens with the pre-comp of these shapes. So we're just going to right click here and let me see if I change this to screen, if it works. So in this case, if I change it to screen, it works. And I think it works because black is black and white. So that's how it doesn't affect the different colors and stuff. So we can just leave that as a screen in this case when you're just using uh, white letters and stuff like that. Okay, so we have our text here. We haven't animated our text uh, showing up here. And what I did was I, I write on animation for these. And it was simple like this, write on like that. And then just go a few frames forward and add these there. And then I also animated this size a little bit. So it pops up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go a few frames create two keyframes and then right in between we're gonna go back a few frames and we're gonna make it smaller or bigger whichever you want and we're gonna do that same process again one frame we're gonna go a couple frames forward get to the ending frame and then right in between we're gonna put 
whatever change that we want to have in it, right? So I also move these a little bit so it shows up after all these little shapes are on screen. Okay, and after we have these, what we're gonna do one last time is we're gonna go here to the shapes that we have to add these lines that are showing up. For that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this new text again here. And then we're just gonna write at I. I'm gonna make it big. As big as you want, you can just do like 0.5, but you can just do one, I guess. And then we can go to layout and we can go here to the size actually, and we're gonna make it bigger. So it's gonna be like two and actually we'll make it a little bit skinnier, I guess. So it's not that thick. And you can do this, if you do shear, it's gonna change the position of it a little bit like that. Uh, but it's gonna affect it a little bit too much, right? Okay, so here in layout, we're gonna rotate these. So here we're gonna use it on the layout section. We're gonna use the set here option to rotate it until it goes across our screen. And we can also move these a little bit so we can position it where we want it to be. And now what we have, when we have our, when we have this line ready, we can go and animate these by using the transform option here. And we're gonna animate using the pivot point. But before we animate these, since we want a few copies, we're just gonna hold Alt and then create the three copies of it. And we're gonna position these three ones uh, where we want them to be, just like that. And in this case, we're just gonna leave it at the same size. Okay, so since we have our lines here, so we're gonna go to the transform here and we're gonna decrease uh, our pivot point so it goes all the way back all the way to the top and I'm gonna just copy and paste these to all of them and actually they have to be a little bit further up I guess okay so when we have that we're gonna create the first keyframe for each of those And then we can go and make them go all the way across at different times. So I want this first one, the top one to go all the way through first. So I'm just going to go all the way to the opposite spectrum of the same value, I guess. Drag it to the other side. Then we're going to go a few more frames forward and do that same thing for the second line that we have here. And then we're just gonna go and do that same thing for the third one. So we can actually go a little bit further so we can know, make it start this, make the text fade out right here. And also our shapes. Well, I can, I can make our shapes longer, I think. In order to make it longer, we're going to have to go into here, the timeline and make all of these a little bit longer. I'm going to take the fade out of these here, just drag it a little bit further. And then we're going to go back to timeline here. And now I can go and move these like that. So if sort of like starts to fade out at the same time as the thing starts scrolling down. See? There it goes. And that is pretty much our whole transition. You can add a motion blur to this if you go to the settings and motion blur too. So if I go and do that same thing for all of them, and that's why we were able to use, we had to use this text plus because we cannot add motion blur to uh we cannot add motion blur to these text we cannot do much with it because it's too basic so we're gonna go back to this one actually and open the timeline again so i can add the motion blur to these other sections that we had uh not the x one too much but for th these circles that we have that are popping up and i'm gonna make it 30 for all for each of them oops 
Okay, and we have that, and then we can go back. Now all of these has the motion blurs ready, and we can just like go back here to the render cache and make it smart. So it will start pre-rendering everything, and then we can check out our stinger transition that we just did. Okay, and now we have our, our stinger made here in the edit page, and we can look at how it looks right here. And right now here, let me just see, there's a little bit of a glitch that just happened there. I'm not sure why that happened. Um, it has to do probably some, something with the pre-rendering of this section or, or the caching, because there's nothing, no effect that should make it look like that. Like we didn't add any effects for that. So I think once I render these, it shouldn't show up there. Uh, so I will render that and put it in after here, after this section, you will see this in the whole screen. And that is pretty much how you would go around making a stinger using only the edit page. It's actually going to be easier if you just go in Fusion, uh, in my opinion, because I'm used to doing more stuff in Fusion than just in the edit page. But if you come in from Premiere where you have to do a lot of things on the edit page, then maybe it, you would, you might find it useful to do it this way. Uh, I will make another tutorial making it, I don't know if the same one or something similar in Fusion uh, so that you can see the difference between making it in the edit page versus in Fusion. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Hopefully you come out soon too. And yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. And I hope that you enjoyed it and that you can make your own stinger for your streams or your videos or maybe clients if you have clients that want you to make stingers for them. So that is pretty much it for this video and I hope to see you in the next video here in Swabi. Bye.